everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So the first static defense unit has finally made its way down into the valley. They picked up a bunch of radio chatter. The Red Reapers are attacking and destroying pretty much every facility they come across in the valley. The remnants of those attacks have all moved to the east end of the valley to a facility up there, trying to form some kind of final last stand. The first static defense has come across a group of Red Reapers heading towards that base. All right, well, this is the kind of perfect battle that these guys were made for. Amb ambushing a small group of uh, units moving straight down a valley. I think we should probably do okay here, depending on what we got going on. So this is a three skull ambush convoy. I'm interested to see how well we do against this. Uh, the question is now is how do we want to hold these off? We know they're going to be moving down this way. This is where they're going to be um, getting to and getting out of the valley. So if we can't stop them there, then we're in trouble. So do I want to take... We want to limit the enemy's fire on us. So let's just move forward here. I'll do what you ask. I want to lay as many mines in the section of the valley as I can. Uh, yes. We got to split up back here. Let's just move here. Roll to that. Okay, we got our mortar units. Let's get them a little farther forward. Move order received. Uh, what do we got here? This is the second mortar unit. Let's get up here. Move order received. And then we've got the Ultra 5. Let's move up here. Rolling. The MRMs. Let's get up here. Got it. Uh, we've got our uh, Hollander here. Let's move up to here. I'm rolling. Urban tank, the thumper, and the Copy LRM that. we're going to put up on top here, I think. Coordinates received. Cloudbuster, I think I want to keep you up here with the mechs. Heading out. And we'll move our arrow unit, the chaparral, up here as well. On it. All right. Okay, see how we do here. We got a lot, like we got a lot of front-loaded firepower with the mines um, and the artillery. Problem is, is we can't stay in a sustained fight. If they're able to target us, we're pretty much done for. They can strip us down pretty darn quick. This is bad. I was hoping we would encounter them by now. Uh, we just want to move it. I'm afraid to... Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, there's no mechs, it's just all vehicles. Hunter. Pirate Marsden. Bulldog. This is a three skull. Pack rat. Laser strike. Turd hand. Fury 2 command tank. And Zukov heavy tank. Oh, that guy's got to go. That's not good. All right. Uh, we can't shoot yet. Let's back you up so that they can't see you. Let's get some... Well, with the mines, we don't really need height. Let's just back up a little bit here. Roger. Uh, another mortar unit. Back up a little bit. Like that. Let's get the Ultra down here. Let's get the MRMs down here. We want to get on any vehicles that get through. The Hollander is really Affirmative, a damaged sponge at this point. Okay, the Thumper. Let's get up here. Acknowledged. LRMs. Let's get over here for now. I want to try and get around and strike that Zukov in the back. Cloudbuster's still good down here. We want to get direct fire, so let's put, put you down there. On my way. So I haven't installed the new um, update. Location confirmed. By the time you see this, it'll have already come out a few days. I haven't got the new update installed. It's just basically, uh, there's a lot of fixes that went on. They haven't broken the game saves yet. Apparently that's coming down the pipe though. But um, it's properly reporting uh, vehicle losses now. So if your vehicle gets destroyed, you're not going to automatically get it back. So we need to be very careful with vehicles now. Up until this point, I mean, you, I don't try not to, I try not to play so that we lose our vehicles, but you could. Crap, man. we got so many guys that can shoot at us. Alright, let's start this off. Let's do it That's right. Good. I'm moving. Get into the trees. Stay in the trees. We gotta get these going right away. Gotta get this going right away. Oh, he's already taking some damage, eh? 
Pirate AC2. That's a lot of damage off the front. Well, this guy's got a lot of armor. All right, well, let's start stripping it if we can. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Oh, we will. I was really hoping for a lot of mechs. That's a pretty good mine spread right there. Ready for orders. Heat sink. You know the drill. Let's get into here. Position Minimize confirmed. the number of guys that can see you and apply mines liberally. It's going to be a nightmare for these guys to move through this valley. Come on, what you doing? What you doing? Okay, pack rat taking some damage, and he barely even moved through the mines. Commander, this is the guy we. This is pretty much the spot I think I want to drop a bunch of mines on. Fast cam, let's drop it down. Firing. Drop it down there. So the fast cam from this doesn't do as much damage as the mine dispensers do, which is kind of weird. Uh, where's the pack rat? Got to get used to doing this. I've got a sensor lock. Thanks. Yeah, we're not shooting at him, but. If somebody else does for whatever reason, it'll be easy to hit him. Keep on this guy. All the vehicles have to come through here anyway. So, the more we spread mines in there, the better. Commander. Okay, we don't have any... Um, we do, actually. I was going to say we don't have any mines, but we actually absolutely do. Okay, so we're going to go Thunder with this one, and Chaff with this one. And yes. Nice. Commander. Oh, Nikumba. Let's get Oof. You to here. Cuz that vehicle's most likely this guy's going to most likely move first, so uh let's warlord this. Try and get them both on here. Acknowledge. Yep, nice. Yeah, barely even scratched it. Okay, 31 landmines explode. Well, okay. It's not doing as much as I hope, but he hasn't gotten through the bulk of it yet. Alright, Skippy. Where's that, uh... There he is. Not HE. HE bad. If you don't know, if you drop HE in there, it would will remove all the mines. Uh, yep. Which is why you do not want to be removing the mines. Uh, wait, what? What? What are your orders, Skipper? Meadowlark, Lemon. Copy that, Commander. So there's been a few minor adjustments to the mechs. I'm gonna shoot this guy again. Bolt-on rockets on. Three mine dispensers. I'm on. So they've really been thinking how we're gonna like. So this is an all or nothing, like right here. Multiple weapons with no aim. All the mines are gonna be here, and if it doesn't kill the vehicles, then Ready for orders. we're up Shit's Creek without a paddle. Let's do this though on with this word. guy, and we'll go on this guy just to apply some out front. Uh, Ultra 2, and yep. So, one of the uh, missions I played offline to make some sea bills, I took a really low, um, no ammo and multiple weapons. low level mission against some clan units because I wanted to pick up some clan XL engines. Well, you've only got one shot, and that's this guy. After that, you're going to be clearing mine, so let's hope we hit this guy. Nope. Alright. Negative damage. So I picked up straight. I, I, I like it was like three adders, I think, or whatever. Like and a couple of and a thorn and something else. How much damage is that guy taking? Uh, not enough. We're gonna have issues. I think we're gonna be into a direct fire fight. Don't know if we got the juice for that. 
Oh, never mind. There goes the Marsden. That's a lot of mines down there, though. Like, that's a lot of mines. I wish there was a way I could mouse over. Oh, he took 16 mine hits. Wish, it was, wish there was a way I could mouse over to figure out how many mines are in each square or each hex. So he's a defender. He's coming up here. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to have this this other guy up here. Yes, Commander. Um, the Zuzukov is is can be nasty. All right. Well, we we can't shoot directly on anybody, so there's no point in moving at this point. Let's just drop some lerms on. This is the HVAC guy. No, Ultra Auto Cannon twos. So yeah, anyway, that uh, the clan mission that I took... Should I just hit this guy? Pro I should probably hit this guy. Um, I took three XL clan XL engines as uh, my rewards. I was actually planning to sell them off. Standing by. And then I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to keep them. And then I dropped them in three of the uh, urban mechs. That. Primarily not to up the weaponry, but to up the armor. Not the armor, the um, the engine. So we got a little bit more speed. That's about it. Laser strike. So we got two. I don't know what the hell's on that thing. That's the turret hand, right? Fury two command tank. That's a lot of armor. That's the mortar. So it's got to be. That's actually not bad in this guy either. Although I don't think he's a member of the... I think this guy's probably the convoy. This guy's the convoy. This guy's the convoy. We better soften this guy up. Uh, let's warlord it. Let's soften this guy up some more. Affirmative. He's got a lot of armor. Yeah, they, he's taking acid damage already. You notice instead of 40, we're doing 42. Yes, Commander. So he's taking some acid damage already. Same, chaff and thunder. Let's replace all those mines that we lost there. Standing by. And you again, let's replace the mines. Locked on. So with the mortar max, we've only got five turns of fast cam firing and then we're out. So this is the second turn. So they're not going to really be effective once these guys get out of the mines. So I'll switch to the uh, acid and then the uh, guided ammo. Orders. We're going to push Move this a bit here. So we did gain a bit of movement on some of the mechs with those XL engines. And honestly, it's like not really a lot. It's a couple of extra hexes, which isn't yep, much. Better. It's a lot when you're... That's actually doubling the speed of some of the mechs. Because the, uh, the mortars... Mortar, uh... R-59s. Ah, oh, shit, we're shooting the wrong guy. It doesn't matter, we'll just shoot this guy. Nice, everything hit. The R-59s, um... We're only moving two at a sprint. Now they're... Ooh, look at that. Now they're moving, um... Four at a sprint. Which is pretty good. So it's the Hollander. Uh we're gonna stay in the trees and fire. And we want this guy. Here we go. Okay, not bad. Ready for orders. Okay, Zukov hasn't moved yet. Um I'm gonna move here to get into a bit better striking position. Way. And we're gonna spit down some stuff on this guy because he's gonna come up the hill after us. So Roger. we gotta strip some of that armor before he gets up. So this is like I said, only a couple of minor changes. Like I was able to get, like I pulled, what was it the Hollander? No, it wasn't the Hollander. One of the mechs. We we picked up a Clan Ultra Five too. So I replaced the regular Ultra Five with the Clan Ultra Five, and then I was able to remove the XL core. I think it was the. Who was it now? It was this guy. No? Where are you? Anyway, yeah, we we took the Clan Ultra 5 out and was able to get um, 
the XL gyro out of this, which means I was able to put another mine dispenser in. So there's just a couple of minor tweaks here or there that were actually, like, I, I really want to squeak as much as I can out of, um, Locked on. out of these urban mechs and see how high we can go. Like, I want to do five skull missions with these guys. So we just got to be very, like, we have to be very indirect and then for the direct fire guys, we have to be like on it. You know what I mean? Like we have to be like being able to deliver a lot of damage. Okay, he rolled into there, which means our uh, yes, commander. You can keep firing. Let's keep it down in here, though. Copy that. It just means that our direct fire guys have to be like Primary nice. Target damage. Concentrate your fire and. You got that right. Um, Roger. We have to be able to just like choose our target and take it down real fast. While not really exposing and I have to really pick and choose the missions that I, I choose. Like so, when you get an ambush in the desert, like I knew it was probably going to be this map. So I could be up on the hill shooting down at them. Giving me the ability to back up and hide if I need to. So Hot Dog, you're done for this battle I think unless these guys... Oh, you got two medium lasers. But you don't have any armor, per se. I'm gonna move you forward. And if someone tries to make a break for it, we'll get a shot on them. But right now, you're ineffective. Alright, uh, Nickel. Spaniel. Are you my Spaniel? I'm walking here. Alright, let's hammer this guy. So yeah, I really want to try and see as far as I can go with these guys. Here it comes. The Hollander will most likely go away if I can get another urban mech, but it's we're at a point now where it's like it's hard to find urbies. I do have a few parts. Not a lot, but a few. So if we do choose other mechs. Nice. I want them to be like kind of in the similar vein. So I, I find like a Hollander is kind of like in the similar vein. If we were to choose that, like if we were to choose a heavy mech, then it would be like an old archer or an old rifleman. But something that's just like a fire suppression mech kind of thing is what I'm looking for. Reading loud and clear. Are you? That's great. Shit, we only have indirect, do we? Uh, let's bring the pressure home. So this may have been a decoy force. Ready for orders. Let's switch this up. Let's go with uh, acid. Where is the uh, Zukov? Here we go. Drop some acid on his ass. Oh, that was juicy. Good to go. All right, beefy, we need some more acid on that guy. There we go. Locked on target. Yeah, I've been having problems finding another mortar eight. Ooh. Commander. That sensor lock. You. Not that it matters. You do. Now, is this guy in range for um, the Typhon? Yeah. Let's actually stay with the chaff, though, with, for the extra. Ready to rock. I don't want to go down the hill yet. Let's just stay up here. Let's get into here. Hammer this guy with the LBX. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, he was braced in the trees, so I mean, we weren't going to get a lot of damage off of that, so that's fine. Ah, shit. That's what I was afraid of. My mech is losing internal structure. Yeah, they're taking massive damage. Would have been like, could you imagine mechs going through that? 
Like, receiving you. They'd have been losing armor real fast. Back up a little bit up the hill. Take a couple shots at this guy. Should be able to clean this up, I think. Confirmed. Don't know whether we can do it this turn, but... Wow, the Zukov took a hell of a lot of damage. Receiving you. Actually, let's go with... Uh, yeah, let's go with you. Drop the fire down into here. Use that way they'll take damage. Waiting for orders. They'll take damage when On they move way. next turn. Okay, let's stop this guy from getting away. Actually, go ahead and warlord this. That's painful. Target's taking a critical hit. Commander. Okay, hot doggy dog. Can we get a direct line of sight? We can. That might be a little better. Not worried about clearing the mines at this point. We've got a lot of damage done. Um, look at that chance to hit, man. Enjoy! Reporting to one last vehicle. So that, I mean, that vehicle is, like, this thing is pretty impressive for what it does. The armor is not that great, but, um, like I said, I can only use it situationally because... Ooh, we almost lost the arm. Uh, let's turn this way. We got 360 degree firing arc, so I don't... Not that worried about it. We can face any direction we want and still shoot the enemy. Uh, we're losing some heat here. Oh, well, motor's free, that's right. Alright, let's just go with the one. It's fine. Still might get him. Yep. Time to bug out. Get to the LZ for and they did not get any reinforcements. Waiting for orders. They got no reinforcements. That's kind of disappointing for a three skull. Let's move up this way. We do have heating problems though with our mechs. Like I said, the double heat sink kits aren't going to happen. Hmm. Let's get to here. Roger that, Commander. It's simply because we can't get a big enough engine in there to make it worthwhile. Like some of these engines, like are, yeah. requires like seven heat sinks, right? Seven or eight heat sinks. How the hell am I going to fit eight double heat sinks into a mech? Unless they're prototype double heat sinks. It's about the only thing I can I can use. Sorry. Or compact heat sinks, but I'm yet to f I've yet to get enough or, or find any prototype double heat sink kits to use. So I live to serve. we're very limited right now with what we can do. Um, let's move down to here in case they come around the corner. And let's drop some more acid on you. Affirmative. Yeah, it does half damage to internals, but he's still dead. Critical hit, Commander. Yes, Commander. Did he die, or is he still there? Oh, we killed the other vehicle. That was what it was. All right, let's switch this to uh, incendiary. We should be able to finish this up now. Copy that. There we go. It was the other vehicle I saw that blew up. Move us down. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, let's see what we got here. So, um, uh, yeah, let's move forward. What kind of gat can we pick up? Oh, hold on, look at these 80 ton vehicles. What does this thing have? Goss rifle and a medium laser. Look at the armor on it, though. Holy crap. We burn through these guys like ridiculously fast. Marsden, Pirate Marsden. Look at the armor on this thing, man. Two LRM fives and a rotary AC two. That's kind of weak for a sixty tonner, I think. Because it's a regular rotary AC two, so the damage is a little lower. Yeah, I mean Zukov. What did we got in the Zukov? Two HVAC tens and a SRM six. 
It's actually not bad. All right, let's see what we got down here. Gauss Rifle, HVAC, 10. How much does this weigh? 12 tons. Recoil of 2, double, critical, double chance to critical hit with this weapon. Extended range and crit chance, 12% chance of misfiring. Can explode for 60 damage per shot, loaded when destroyed. So it'll be one shot loaded, I would imagine. Damage 60, range 900 meters, not bad. But once again, I got to consider what I what I have and what what can I, what I can mount on stuff, right? Ultra twos, a pair of those, seven tons of pop, eh? Um. 320 core. We could we could probably sell the 320. Anything cooling wise down here? Nothing. Goss ammo, which we don't have. Wait, that's heavy rack two. Caseless, heavy rack two. Was that a? I thought that was just a rack two. Rotary AC two. Was there no heavy rack? I guess not. Ultra twos, huh? Seems kind of underpowered. You, we'd prefer like a heavy rack two if you're gonna do it. Heavy rack two ammo. That's weird. Okay, well LRM dead fire half ton. God, what do I take? It all comes down to usability, right? Like, Pharaoh, we've got one still. How much are you worth? That'll be 130,000, we'll take that. Rack two pirate, I think we do have a rotary? It's not a pirate, it's already just a regular rack two, and I was using it for a while. Oh, this is the one that does the, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, Seven shots times five damage times three shots. Like it split, it fragments, right? You know what? Let's throw that in there. Because I wonder if that's actually the pirate rotary two is, is actually a heavy rack. That's caseless ammo, though. Way more chance to explode, right? You get more ammo, but way more chance to explode. Uh, how many rounds are in this? 13 shots per. Almost seems like no point, right? That'd be 26 shots. Like, I'm trying to budget this, my loadouts on these guys to about 10 turns, because that's a base defense mission. So if we got 26 rounds, let's say divided by three shots per, right? We need 30 rounds for 10 turns of firing. That's not enough. I'd have to go with the caseless. I'm just afraid of ha having it go off. Because remember, we got like no armor and no internal. 9% ah, increase in heat and jam chance. So 9% increased heat, I guess, is the heat on the weapon. And increased jam chance. Ah, fuck me. I don't know. I'm going to take this. Um, taking the Gauss rifle because I think we do have a Gauss rifle. or We've got a weapon that requires Gauss ammo, but we have no Gauss ammo. I think it's the... Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, anyway, I'm taking the Gauss ammo because I know we need it. We'll grab the... You know what? Let's drop that. And then let's just go with... We'll take stuff we can use. Let's take this. Oops, not that. Ah. Where are you? Damn it, I'm at the wrong end. This, the, this way. Focus on what you're doing. Alright, we'll take that. Sure, we may get some use out of this. We'll see how it goes. It's 12 tons, so it's a lot of weight for a mech, but... Yeah. Alright, a couple of laser strike, a couple of Zukov parts. So we got three Zukov parts now. LRM-10... Which we'll hold on to, I guess. Although, I don't know. The Pirate Fives. Double chance for critical hits. Bonus against overheating targets. So that's a possibility. We'll hold on to those for now. 
Ultra twos, that was a nice that was a nice grab. We'll drop the armor. Definitely holding on to the case. The 175 core we will hold on to. You can go keeping those. We'll keep the ammo for now. And chaff ammo. Okay, cool. Not bad. So continuing along to the rendezvous point where all of the other units are kind of holed up, uh, we stumbled across a base here, and we're not really sure. We've got to pass through this valley, but this would be a nice place for an ambush if we're uh, not careful. So we're going to send the urban mechs to check it out, find out what's going on here. It's all quiet. I'm expecting it to be deserted, but you never know. Um, so we're just going to move forward with the urbies. Yes, I we're leaving the vehicles. Ooh, what do we got over here? We're leaving the vehicles and stuff behind. It looks like we've got Red Reaper units moving into the area. All right, we're leaving the vehicles behind though with the uh, Hollander to um, protect our salvage train. So let's move up on this guy over here. So there are units in the area. And we're just going to take shots at this guy to start. Ooh, nice chat. Nice shot. Nice shot. Standing by. Okay, just so you know, this is a um, two and a half skull blackout mission. We're running with just way. the six Irbies. We gotta be careful. Anything could happen with with one of these. So uh, let's just go with the um, mortars. Guided. Yep. Four missiles on a Hetzer. That could be LRM tens, MRMs maybe, or or a pair of thunderbolts, or mine dispensers. Is that your best shot? Yeah. Don't. Receiving you. Don't tempt them. Okay, we'll find out if there's Got sensors. It. We didn't trigger any mines, so I have no idea. All right, guided mortar shot on this guy. Confirmed. Nice. Yes, Commander. Let's get those MRMs. I'm only walking because I, I want to um, maximize our chance to hit. It's only because we only see one guy right now, so. This guy's got to go. I'm ready. I'm your spaniel. Okay, we got an ultra five shot in this guy. Let's take it. Nope. Right one. Yeah. Okay, I'm hearing another vehicle. So it's down where? Don't see it. Okay. Yes, Commander. Copy that. All right. Well, yeah, we've only got six turns of incendiary fire, but we got to get this guy down. So let's fire. Okay, pend. Come on, come on. Ah, blinding flares on. That's that helps. Oh. Something down here. That's a lot of missiles. Okay. You have my attention. Ooh, we can get out of the minefield this way, so we're just going to walk Location it back. Confirmed. Nice. Okay, we got series hover tank with an LRM 10 and a large laser that's broken. LRM carrier, which has got to go. Okay, so everyone's going to be on the LRM carrier except for you. Volton mortar. Let's try and make sure we kill this headset. Let's go this route. Damn. Come on, mortar. Jesus Christ. Inflicting heavy damage. Yeah, I see that, but not enough. Um, Roger. 
Let's get rid of you. Guided going on it. Yeah, he's got Thunderbolt packs. Christ, he's still going. Reporting critical hit. We might as well strip all his armor off before we kill him. Commander. There we go. Be gone. Excellent. We still got one mech trapped in the minefield, though. Ready for orders. Um. Let's start moving in this direction. See if we can pick up the other guy on sensors. Oh, uh, there we go. That'll help. AMS on overload. I forgot to do that. I keep forgetting we got that guy. Now, um, this guy's got to go next. Actually, can we hit him with this? He's just outside range. We'll hold on to it. Hopefully next turn he'll be in range. Okay. What do you need? How do we get out of here? 16, 26, holy crap. 24, 28. Okay, you're not in jeopardy at the moment. You can sensor lock this guy though. Oh, he's just outside range. Of course he is. Not outside range for some acid though. We're gonna sit tight. Nice. Yeah, not much you can do about it. Oh, AMS firing. Did we get anything? Not let me see. Three. Okay, well. Three's better than nothing. Alright, nice. Makes me wish I had a PPC now. I think I'm gonna hold on to... Well, we could mortar this guy. 18% though. How badly damaged is he? It won't be a kill. Our other mortar units can take him on. We're gonna fire lasers at this guy and get this started. I'm gonna leave this one off for now. Well, how many more turns do we have firing? We've got seven more turns of firing. How much armor do you have? Let's leave it on. We'll fire. So this is two and a half skulls, so I don't know whether once we kill these guys, if there's anything that's going to land down here. Commander. Um, let's keep moving this way. Moving out. You're just in range now. Did it help? I have no idea. I don't think it did. Oh, it looked like it did. Maybe. I don't know. Beautiful. Alright, freeze up my mortars. Freeze up the mortars. Let's get you over here. Uh, let's go with some... Inferno. I want to save the acid and the guided for later. These are just vehicles. Two of them are gone already. Order. Um, and one of our guys is trapped in a minefield, so... We may need the uh, acid and guided later on against tougher opponents. Come on, finish them off. No good damage, though. Where is that coming from? Over here somewhere. There it is. Palisade heavy tank. LBX-10 and LRM-15 with a hell of a, a lot of armor. Waiting for orders. Alright, let's clean this guy up if we can. Beautiful. Sharpshooter. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Thanks. Don't sound too excited. 26. What's the easiest way out of this minefield? So we've got... 1, 2, 3... 
That's 22. That's probably going to be the quickest and easiest way out of here. So. Roger. Okay, 10 landmines explode. We'll be looking at damage here. Okay, not too, too bad. We're still taking a fair bit of damage to the legs, but we'll deal with it. We're down, they're down to one vehicle. So we can set up a uh, defensive perimeter here. Get some speed going. I'm kind of shocked at how well you can load out the Urban Max. Like, I mean, they're 30 tons, so it's not that bad. Let's go. Um, gonna move out here, embrace, get rid of our instability. Took a couple points, a couple mines, so that's fine. We're gonna have to get down over there, so that's all right. That's all right. Unless you've got a great chance to hit, don't shoot. I copy. We'll take 50%. If not, then forget it. Nope. We'll hold off. We still have our mines too, like the fast gams, and then some LRM mines, but... There's no point in uh, firing the mines right now. The mines are really good for localized fight. Receiving you. Nothing, huh? Get over here. Yes, Commander. Let's get you guys moving. No shooting, just running. We got some rocket packs too, so yes, this is the LRM boat that's got like no speed. This is the one we need an, an XL engine for as well. Once we get that, we'll be able to up the core a little bit and hopefully get at least a four hex sprint. Nope, that's not worth it. The must fall. We got limited ammo on that mech, so... Okay, he's still down behind the hill. So let's push it forward into here. Let's end our turn here. Embrace. Then we're going to reserve and let him go and see if he can come out in the open for us. He's not going to do it. He's content with staying behind there. We're going to be out of AMS ammo. We hit 14 of them, though. Aye, aye. All right. Let's get you going this way. See what I mean, though? Like, this thing's got a Clan XL engine and it's still only moving like, like three squares. Or three X's. Commander. I always say squares first because the very first battle maps we used, like before, this is before we even played Battletech, is back when we were playing D and D. The very first battle maps we used, everything was in squares. I await your command. Right, and they were offset squares. So uh, it was well. At first, they were all squares, like a regular grid. And then we went to offset squares, so it was like basically like kind of like a hexagon. So um, one square only had six ex exit points from it. Um, let's get you down here. It's going to be you and yeah, we got to activate this base. So it's going to be you and Turnabout that are going to activate it. Commander. So yeah, I always say squares because that confirmed. was the first thing, and I always like, I always thought that regular squares were were way way better. Yeah, I still just hold off because you had eight exit points, and people complain because it's like, oh well, it's not the correct distance, this that and the other thing, and it's like, ah, so what? You just it gives you more freedom of movement. It it just made more sense to me, but we went to hexes eventually. That's fine. What's Whatever. Up, Don't know why I'm complaining. Acknowledged. Let's push forward. Ready for orders. You've only got. Wait, can you? Yeah, you can get down this way. Beautiful. That's going to save a lot of time. Going full throttle. Okay. What's up, boss? Aye, aye. We got one guy in the target zone. 
Makes me wonder if the turrets are going to be, if there's actually any turrets, it could just be nothing. You're the Ultra 5. Let's get to here. Affirmative. Trying to get some full speed going to get as much evasion on these urban mechs as I possibly can. And it's very weird to say evasion and urban mech in the same sentence. But, uh, you know. Let's get up here. On my way. Double time. <laughs> Double hex, you mean. Come on out and fight me. Tell me what you need. I need you to move up. Get into here. Alright, so this should activate it now? Yeah. Virus breach detective activating device network. Blah, 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 blah. Watch out, Commander. Turrets coming online. Is that the enemy turret? Or our turrets? Looks like enemy turrets. Because of course it is! Three hundred? Alright, well... I think this guy's probably the scariest. Let's get on it. I'm on it. I was really, really hoping that it wouldn't be the case. Um, we gotta get that medium laser into play too, so let's move forward a bit. Not like we have mobility. All right, we gotta get this turret gone. Everything's gotta be on it. Because Thumper's bad news for us. I'm out of SRM. Yeah, I know. Standing by. Let's get over Moving here. Position. Little bit of evasion, but also maximize our chance to hit. So let's just walk it. Gonna fire these guys. Everything's gotta be on this thing. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Not enough. Damn it. Solid connection on that one. I'm out of short range missiles. You got streak turrets. Fuck me. That's bad time. Mag shot cannon. That's what we have. Mag shot cannon. More to sixes. Okay, uh. God damn it, now what do I do? Can't give that guy a- This turret's gonna fire up my back. The mortar sixes I'm okay with, but the- but these streaks are gonna just murder the back of this urban mech. Uh... Let's go here. Affirmative. We got the distance mortar to shoot the other turret to finish up the thumper. I should have probably shot this turret first. Nothing I can do about it now. Yes, Commander. We go full sprint. All right, full speed. What's the better damage now? Tandems. We can't hit with tandems here. We, all we got is a mortar shot. Let's go with the best chance to hit, I think. Come on, finish this thumper off. Yes, nice. Okay, now we got the LRM still. Switch that them all to inf gone. Infernos. Commander. Right? Everything to Infernos. I don't think sensor locking the turret matters, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sensors locked on. Nope, doesn't matter. Okay, so bolt-on rockets, medium laser, 
incendiaries all the way. We're not going to have enough damage. There's no way. Put a lot in there, though. Inflicted some heavy damage. No SRMs remaining. Palisade's showing himself. Hopefully the AMS didn't jam. Maybe we can get the... Oh, we got 15 of them. Oh, the turrets don't go this round. Oh! Yes, I hear you. What was this again? The mortars. We don't want to give them a back shot, so let's go here. Turn this way. Okay. Oh man, we got lucky. We got so lucky. Let's save the mortar ammo. We're actually gonna fire all the lasers on this guy. It should kill it. Uh, yeah, it should kill the turret. Yep, that, there it is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Target destroyed. Okay, the mag shot cannon I think is the next turret that needs to go. I'm your spaniel. Onward. Get over here. Ultra fives firing. Confirm. Two hits. Nice. Waiting for orders. Full speed, buddy. Full speed. Full speed sounds good, uh huh. Let's drop some acid on this thing. Increase everybody else's damage. Nice. Standing by. Be feeder, I need you to do the same thing. On my way. A little bit of acid. There we go. Ooh, yeah, man. Scored a critical hit. Okay, now we can probably finish that with LRMs. So, how much armor do you have? 240. Let's um get into here. I don't know if mortars have a short range, do they? They might. It's gonna take some heat, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. We can drop that next turn. No, not, not anywhere near enough. Like, yeah, they're, they're 10s, they're not 20s, so... Alright, well... Using almost all the uh, incendiary that we got left on this thing. Make sure we kill it. Turret neutralized. Nice. We're not really made for extended engagements here, so we have to be very careful with the ammo coming up. Whew. Okay, this turret's got to go. All right, it's Inferno. We'll take it. Damage is minor, Commander. You have my attention. This turret's yours. Turret's all yours. Target okay, good damage. Yes, Commander. Uh, get to medium laser. Well, you can't even get to medium laser range, I don't think. Look how slow you are. <laughs> we're gonna do this. We gotta save. We gotta conserve uh, the other stuff. So we're just gonna hit it with this for now. We should easily be able to kill it this turn, so not worried about that. Affirmative. Ah, we're too close for that. And we've already almost broken through the armor, so guided it is. Nice. Alright, turret's done. Let's get this tank now. I'm here. Full speed. Sounds good. Waiting for orders. Roger that. As long as he stays the away from cooking my internal structure. Yeah, you'll be fine. If anybody needs a double heat sink kit, it's her. I'm taking damage. You're the one that needs a double heat sink kit go. for sure. Full speed. 
Sounds good, uh huh. Aye, aye. Yes, I hear you. I'll do what you ask. I wonder if we can get this guy to commit to a fight. Indirect is just not going to cut it. Oops. Order. Oh, you're just out of range. Never mind. Orders. Let's get into here. Let's stay together. So if he if he exposes for one, he exposes for all. That's the that's the goal. We can't let him have the advantage of only exposing to like a handful of uh, people here. Let's drop our heat. Roger. Full speed. Which ain't really speed at all. I shouldn't be allowed to use that word. Understood. You can sensor lock this guy. Not that. Well, I'm not going to bother. We're not shooting at him, so there's no point. Wonder how much ammo he's got. You have my attention. Okay, one more turn and we can get on this guy. Let's get up here. I'm moving. It might be two, it depends on how far the MRM boat can go. I'm receiving you. What's up, boss? I'm gonna need you to drop some uh Got it. Some acid next turn. So get ready. Come you too, her. buddy. You too. On my way. Double time. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Full speed sounds good. Uh huh. Man, we still gotta get all the way over to the other base still. I think we're out of uh, AMS ammo. Receiving which at this point would not surprise me in the least. Yeah, the MRM boats. Tell yeah, we're not ready to go yet. Gonna move a bit. I'm moving out. We still got one more fight left too. Like that's the I thing, right? Done. I can't. Uh, I can't commit. Commander. My ammo until I know um, <laughs> we're going to be okay by. for the next fight. Copy that. All right, time to start softening this guy. How much acid do we have left? We got a few, so. Locked on. Okay, got three on there. Order. Full speed. On the move. Now you're really moving, eh? Look at you. Down the road. Acid, please. Well, let's hope we get copters for the last bit. <laughs> okay, we got one in on, on them, so it's increased by what, 4% damage or something? Oh, you might be out of ammo. Standing by. Indirect fire ammo, that is. I'll make it happen. Hammer him. I'm gonna put the mortar on it as well. We're gonna get as much damage as we can on this guy as fast as possible. So he's got 185 armor on the sides. Copy that. We'll probably be splashing a fair bit. It's in the trees too, so damage is gonna be reduced. Holding off. Okay, let's get the uh, lock on him. Oops, uh, you. I don't think it's gonna help very much, but. We'll do it. We'll do this. And then we'll do... Shit, we don't have much left, do we? Typhon is like... I can't use it because it's like, um... It's, um... It's only 27% will be done. Uh, it's like area effect. So, it's like there's no point in firing on him with that because... We got our own guys here too, right? So... Firing. 
Okay, not bad. What do you need? We'll sprint. Uh, we're going this way though. On the move. Full speed. How are we doing here? Pretty darn good. Let's go with some more acid on him. We only got 16 acid left though. 16 guided airburst. We're too close for airburst. Cause we may hit our own guys. Let's just go with guided firing. Target. All right, a little bit of damage. Ready for orders. This is the guy I want in here now. Ooh, just enough. On the way. Double time. Just enough. All right, fingers crossed. Blow through that side, buddy. There you go. All right, cool. This is what happens when you hang out with bad people. It is. I've been Good trying to, to explain that to them, but they don't listen. All right, I'm going to cut to us being up the hill because I don't think you want to watch me somehow attempt to pilot these urban mechs up to here. So I will see you when we're all up here. All right, it wasn't so bad to get up here. So here we are. Now, one of two things is going to happen. Either there's going to be enemies inside the buildings here, which I hope isn't the case, or we're going to have a landing down here. So let's just see. I don't know what to expect here, way. and I don't know how to handle it if they do come out of the buildings. We'll find out right now. Nope, drop ship. So, looks like the Reapers decided to drop in a grasshopper. Ooh. Uh, what kind of carrier are we looking at here? Energy carrier, that's not good. Bulldog. And a thumper vehicle, because of course. On the move. Get up as far as we can go, since we can't shoot. Not yet, anyway. On my way. All right, On let's see way. how we do here. All right, mines, 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 I'm mines. Waiting. Lots and lots and lots of freaking mines. Worst part about this is I have to be direct fire to be able to fire off the mine dispensers. Just hoping I can move where the. Uh, Thumper vehicle wouldn't get a direct line of sight on me, or the carrier. We're gonna move over here. I'm on it. I think we shoot the carrier, the energy carrier. It's probably all medium laser. It's a Mark II, so maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, let's ward order this for the best chance to hit with the lasers firing. I'll make it happen. Those look like big lasers to me. Hopefully they move before firing and pull themselves up. But we'll find out soon enough. Bulldog taking a little bit of damage, but not much. Alright, they're trying to kill the civilians here. Yes, Commander. You are sorely out of range. Let's do this for their turrets. And then let's go this, this. Thunder and chaff. Okay. Aye, aye. Laugh boat. Uh, do we need to have you move? You still got your tandem rockets, so I should probably get you up a little that closer. Boat. It's gonna mean it's well, you know, it's, uh, that's okay. I was going to say it's going to be harder for us to hit, but that's fine because it's better for the mines if we don't hit the enemy vehicles because more of them scatter on the ground. Gage. All right. Twenty-five landmines exploded. What do you got? LRM five, two larges, bunch of mediums. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! I live to serve. Do you? Got it, Commander. Let's get on a thumper vehicle, I guess. There's nothing else we can do. We gotta get those mines down there. Out of SRM. That's all right. You got them all down there. Hopefully they landed near that that uh, 
carrier as well. Ow. He decided to move back and shoot me anyway. He's got a hell of a lot of armor. That's a lot of armor. Orders? Um, your rockets are gone. You do have a mine dispenser though, so let's move up so we can get at least a, uh, eventually get a uh, shot on them directly to drop the mines down. But we're gonna drop some more fast gam around this guy, I think. Hopefully as soon as that guy moves, because carriers are notorious for light armor. Hopefully as soon as he moves, he dies. Nope, we took a lot of damage. That's well, not really a lot, but... Oh, yeah, fair bit. Alright, nice. What do we have now? Heat sink? We got a 15 on you as well, so let's get down in here. Let's drop it down in the front. Uh, bulldog? Or carrier? Carrier. Oh, pulse lasers! That could be bad. Okay, not enough to kill him this turn, but... He's wide open for death, for sure. Okay. Hopefully that didn't hit us. Oh, I don't know where you're shooting, man. I don't know where you're shooting. All right. Um, Reading loud and clear. What do you say we get out of the direct line of sight of that turret, or the uh, thingamabobber back there, and let's try and kill this guy with the mortar? Taking the shot. It's already open on one side. Nope. Reporting a critical strike, Commander. You don't need to move. Same guy. Thunder it up. Copy that. Some thunder and chaff in there. As soon as he moves, he should be dead, so. Yeah. Damage, 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 damage. Yes. Stopped him. It stopped him from shooting, too, I think. Ooh, man. Two drives through the minefield's already taken over 100 damage on the side. 60 in the front, nothing at the back. Waiting for orders. Now you've got a mine dispenser. Come over here. Roger. Full speed. And let's start with acid, mine dispenser, and fire. Copy that. Okay. I'm out of short range missiles. Receive. That's all right, man. That's all right. Stay in the open, makes it Not easier for way. us to hit them. Going with acid again on this guy. And, or do we wanna go on the thumper? Let's go on this guy. Okay, we got the uh, energy vehicle. Waiting for orders. You better get in the trees. And let's go after this guy. Leaving that medium laser off. Fire everything. Well, fire the rest, that is. Okay, 13 landmines going off. We should have my incendiary ammo now, you. but we got what we got. Let's get over here. Going. Get me that thumper, please. Uh, yeah. Target. This mech runs super cool. Ooh, 71. Oh, it's probably an AC-10 yeah, and we're, we're damage boosting it. Because of the I'll acid. 
Okay, let's get some more damage on... Ah, uh, we're on the wrong side, but that's fine. You know what? He's dead as soon as he moves. Most likely. So let's fire on this guy. Not the best chance, but we got to start more on this guy. A little more on this guy, that is. Here comes the mortars. Waiting for orders. Okay, get across here. Let's apply some more acid to this guy. Nice. Black on AC2 ammo. Yeah, I know. Orders. Let's um Let's um clean this guy out probably. Yeah, we got him. Almost got him. Solid connection on that one. All right, whatever. Orders? Whatever. Now, let's see if we can tie up the bulldog. Ultra 2s, right? You know what? Let's leave them for now. Pretty darn good chances to hit. So we're just going to take them. Nice. So that's the uh, torso hit again. I was going to try for a... Uh, a uh, what do you call it? A call a shot in that torso, but... Let's move you forward a little bit. The whole uh, one hex. Nice. Hey man, one hex is one hex. And here, we can go with some Typhon. And hopefully we hit both this guy and um, the other the uh, vehicle. Might be out of range. Nope, took a little damage. Saw a couple points. Reporting critical hit. Nice. Ready for orders. Alright, beefy boy. Um... Roger that. Let's get that vehicle between us and these guys. That way if they miss, they can hit the vehicle. Some more acid on you. Ooh, there goes the laser strike. Ouch. Yeah, man. I think I hit something the good. 12 damage for the acid is now at 20. When they mortar strike Lance, he's dead. Bye. He calculated the damage before he even moved. See ya. Burn damage. I don't think so. Okay, everybody on the bulldog now, please. Ooh, AC-10 hit. Nice. Oh, good night, sweet prince. That was an AC-10 doing 89 damage. Because of all the acid. Yeah. Because of all the acid. Get on this guy. We gotta turn the mortar off. We got too many of our guys close. Close. I don't want to splash damage people. I've had enough of splash damaging people <laughs> with indirect fire. I'll do what you ask. Okay. Good hits. Good hits. Who do we got next? I'm here. Nikal. Uh, are you better if you're back further? No. No minimum range. Uh. Ooh. Yes, Commander. I want to do that. There we go. Like that. On my way. Although I probably shouldn't be placing myself between me and the turret over there. Now that I'm looking at it. Rat. Oh, never mind. There's the kill and the end. I have become. All right, so not bad. All right, we'll take that. Mission successful. Okay, we made a little bit of coin off this. We will need to repair a little bit. We did take a bit of damage, but not a lot. I think we made out okay on this one. I was kind of worried when those turrets popped up. I thought for sure we were going to be in trouble, but the fact that they didn't go on that turn, uh, I should have remembered that because people have, re have been mentioning that, you know, on the first drop, the enemy doesn't get to fire and stuff. So I'm assuming as soon as the turrets got active, they didn't get to fire either. Which is, you know, a bonus for us. So, okay, 60 ton carrier. Now, this is the regular laser carrier. The LRM carrier had what? Four L three LRM 20s? Three LRM 20s. With no armor, though. See, I don't like that. I don't like the no armor on the carriers. I would rather go with two LRM 20s and more armor. But, 
whatever. Thumper artillery vehicle. That guy's got chunky armor, man. Chunky. Wish I knew what ammo it carried. Carries two tons of ammo. If it's stand, about two tons of standard, that's 40 shots. That's a lot. LBX 10. We still got one, so mag shot cannon, we've got one of these guys. Or did I sell it? Maybe I sold it. Uses mag shot ammo, fires five rounds per shot. Five rounds per shot? How does that work? It's probably 70 damage. Is it 70 pinpoint? Like, gosh, uh, Powers down to prevent explosion when out of ammo. That makes sense. Ooh, my dispenser 15. Um, energy crit, fire control system indirect, plus three indirect accuracy. Yes, bloody please. Um, I think the one that we have is plus two. Double heat sinks. Unless they're... I, I, I'm not taking double heat sinks unless we get clan double heat sinks. LBX cluster and slug ammo. Thumper ammo. Mortar flare ammo. Ultra 2 ammo. We do have Ultra 2s, but... Probably not going to employ them in any way. Sam, it, more incendiary ammo. Do we have... We got one of these anyway. Was there Sam or... There was, yeah, there was Sam. Hmm. There's no mag shot ammo, is there? Now, is that... It says it uses mag shot ammo. Is there internal ammo for it? No. See, I think I got rid... Yeah. Crits Goss 4, whatever the hell that means. So, I think I realized... I think I got rid of the mag shot cannon we had. I think I sold it. Simply because we couldn't get ammo for it. I haven't been able... To, this is the only... This is the second time I've seen this. I think I sold it because I couldn't find any ammo for it. I think that's what I did. Well, how many large lasers do we have? We got one. Let's take one as backup. Like another backup. I'm going to take the mine dispenser. We've already got a thumper. Thunderbolt 4 packs. These aren't bad, but because we're only... Far, like, it's 4 tons for 4 shots. So, like, for me right now, these are kind of not usable. i got to have at least 10 turns of firing, roughly, if I can. 8 is, eight is acceptable, but at least 10 turns of firing... Okay, what else? Maybe some kind of ammo. LBX slug we've got. I think we've only got cluster ammo. So maybe I take the slug. Mortar flare. I think we've got... Yeah, we've already got one of these. Thumper ammo. We've got thumper ammo. I think we've even got a thumper, if I'm not mistaken. Is there one up here? Yeah, pretty sure we've already got one of these. Yeah, we do. I'm waiting to for the right urban mech to drop it on there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this. It's it's lousy, but it is what it is. All right, I got a bulldog, three cestrus parts. That's not bad. Grasshopper piece. Okay, three carrier pieces. So that's not bad. We might be able to put together a carrier if we can get some more pieces. LRM fifteen. We got one, so that one can go. LRM twenty. We got a backup so that one can go. Medium lasers, we've got four, so you can go. The 180 core. I know we have a 175 from last time. So let's just sell the 180. Let's hold on to it. Because even if we can bump up a mech the, the extra five on the engine, I'll do that. But uh ammo LRM double. Um yeah, you can go. We're not gonna be using standard ammo in any way. We'll hold on to the mortar flare stuff. So 
Okay, we did okay on that. We didn't take any real damage, and we got some salvage, so good. Yeah, so I think that mission, we got lucky with our drop, because I didn't get to choose the drop location, we were just automatically put there. We were able to take that Hetzer out quickly, which was nice, because that thunder, those Thunderbolts could have done a lot of damage to us if we hadn't taken them out as, as, at when we did. The LRM Carrier, we got out relatively early, it could have done a lot more damage. Uh, what else? Uh, then the turrets, if, if they hadn't delayed that one turn, uh, I thought for sure, though, that the uh, that turnabout was going to get destroyed by that SR uh, the streak turret. I thought for sure she was going to take that massive back damage. But we got lucky and we were able to take the turrets down before they were really going to be able to do anything to us. The one mortar turret did fire, but the rest of them went down fast. And then, yeah, the rest of it was pretty good, so... Alright, I'm going to end that episode there, guys. Actually, you know what we'll do? I'll have a quick look at the mech bay. So I'm going to go through the mech bay really quick, just so you guys can see where the urban mechs are at. So if you guys are not interested in what the ur urban mech loadout is, you can drop out now. But I'm just going to quickly go through the urban mech loadout so you can see what this situation they're at. So this is the uh, R8Q. This is the one that Turnabout uses. So we, this is the only one that's got a double heatsink kit in it. We've got four double heat sinks in here, a pair of large lasers and a small laser. The industrial TSM is built in. I can't actually take it out. Oh, I can take it out. Never mind. I thought it was built in, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to have it in because of the mortar. The bolt-on mortar is 8 tons. So, without that, I can't actually use that. Advanced Zoom Mark II for the large lasers, which is good. Clan our uh, ECM, because we are... Like, we do get close to the enemy, so the less that they, they can see us, the better. Um, Endo and Ferro. Clan XL engine. Um, yeah, so when I put the Clan XL engine in and the patchwork materials... Uh, I upped the core slightly so it has a much faster speed. I think it had 135 core before, now it's a 170. So we do have a bit of speed on this thing now. Got some gunnery support, uh, support uh, tracker sensors for the long range firepower rangefinder so we can see people and obviously energy accuracy for the lasers, which is why this thing hits quite a, like quite a bit. Like this thing hits actually quite a bit. I'm kind of pleased with the way this turned out. So for a 30 ton Mac, it's not bad with a pair of large lasers and a, and a mortar. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, so that's that one. And then the two uh, R59s are roughly the same. Well, these two, the mortars are roughly the same. The R69, I'm really hoping to get a clan LRM20. If I can do that, or a pair of them. If I can get two clan LRM20s, then I'm taking the LRM5 out and putting two LRM20s in here. And then um, I'll drop the regular AMS off of this guy. Maybe up the engine to a 60 or something like that so it can move slightly faster, but then and just increase the ammo on this. I might even just drop the medium laser at that point too because the medium laser won't be needed for close range because the, the Clan LRM-20s don't have a minimum range. So, uh, yeah, we can drop those in there. But right now we're kind of limited on ammo. Like I said, I've been working with about 10 turns of firing roughly. So that's where that's at. We do have a bit of space in here if we make these Clan. Pharaoh and Clan Endo, if we can eventually get them. I don't really have much here, so can't really do it. But, um, you know, but like I said, this there's no double heatsink because i got to get eight, eight heatsinks in here, and there's just no room for it, right? just won't happen. Uh, okay, then the, the R-59s are just the mortar carriers. I think these two are the ones with the extra... I think these... Did these guys take the Clan XLs? I can't remember. Or they just have the light engines. They just have the light engines. So mortar 8, mine dispensers, active probe. You know, whatever. I just dropped in what I had, what I could, what I could get in these guys. Um, but I think these two are working well as an indirect fire. If I had, if I could get one more of these guys, I think we'll be golden for later on. Especially if I can get more acid ammo, because we can just front load acid damage on like the heavy, like even assault mechs. If we front load acid damage on assault mechs, and then drop mines on them, their legs are just going to peel right off. All right, so this is the AC5, a double AC5, or eight, sorry, Ultra 5 build, right? We got a double load of Ultra 5 ammo, so we got plenty of shots for this thing. It's got case on this side, just in case. I did have, a, I picked up this single location hard gel. I dropped it in the ace, in the arm of this guy, uh, only because this is really the only weapon this this guy has. So if it goes down, he's pretty much done. So at least it can repair a little bit while he's fighting, you know. Pair of mine dispenser 15. It's got the Klein XL engineer. Like I said, I had to pull the gyro out of this guy. Um, but if we can find like a regular gyro, I think I had a double XL in here. I can't remember what it was, but I was able to up the core to a 100 core, which helps. So it's not bad. Next, the next Klein XL engine I want to drop into the next mech, the UK 9000, which has got a little bit of speed to it. Not bad. 
it's got the 120 core but this is this is the guy that's we're having a huge problem with um, and the reason being is I can't change out the combat shield of the Viber. So we, we only losing 6% damage is not a big deal, but um, I don't know. It really is just... Oh, well, we do have a Klein XL in here and a double XL gyro. So we don't really have a lot of weight we can play with here. Um, so we got the Exostar Medium and the CT um, and then the pair of MRMs. These are three tons each. I mean, if we can find, well, I was just going to say, if we get clan LRM-10s, we could put two of those LRM-10s in there and maybe up the medium laser to a medium pulse or something. I don't know. Because the, the clan LRM-10s would give us better gunnery. Um, well, maybe not, because this is plus two accuracy, so it is plus one. Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, these might be better. But we got a Guardian ECM in this too because this mech's up front, so we want to make sure that it's got uh, some protection. Uh, regular heat sinks, of course, just six. So, I mean, I guess I don't know how else to gain weight on this guy. Oh, uh, I can't get Pharaoh on this thing. That was the problem because it's got built-in TSM. So with the built-in TSM, it's it's using up like six slots, which is a pain in the ass. Which I kind of need to get like Clan Pharaoh. I think I need this is t oh. I might be able to get Clan Pharaoh in, but then as soon as I do, I got no space left. So if any if any mech could use a compact compact heatsink kit, it would be this thing. And then of course the AMS Mark II. I like to carry more ammo for it. It, it worked out last time. I think we had enough shots last that last uh, or this last mission, so it's not too bad. But this is the one that's the one that's giving me the most tweaking problems. It's nice to have the two missile slots on it, but if I had a different urban mech. Uh, one with the arm-mounted weaponry, I would go for it because this one here, the quirks on Irby's, I don't know if it shows us up here, no. The quirks on Irby's give us about the first um, 20 matches you play on the urban mech, gives you a bonus for um, right arm-mounted weaponry, which we don't have any, right? You get plus one piloting and plus one gunnery, which is nice too, but, and then at level 40, you get plus one defense, which is nice, but... You know, I want to get these guys to 120. I don't I don't know if it'll ever happen in this series, but it, it would be nice because the minus 10% stability damage and plus 10% heat re, uh, damage resist. It would just be... Like, if these guys... If I have eight urban mechs fielding and four vehicles and I'm able to take on assaults, like a... a, 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 a um, uh, tier 5, take on assault mechs, I'm, I'll, I'll stop playing the urban mechs because at that point it's totally worth it. But I, I think mine's coupled with the uh, acid ammo from the mortars. Um, like if we just hold back our direct fire guys with all, with all the uh, mine dispensers, use the mortars to saf soften up the assault mechs with the acid, then step out and drop all of the mine dispensers down all over the place, like right underneath them. Hopefully if we can get, if we can get enough in a group, drop them right on there, then pull back, use the fast gam ammo and the thunder ammo to just thicken the minefield up. That's going to be a good time. That's going to be a really good time, I think. So, but we'll see. I don't know. It might work. It might not. We might get completely obliterated or who knows. But we're definitely, that's the road we're going to head towards. All right. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.